So they go through the wedding, and it's the night of, of April 8th, 1795, and Caroline is overdressed. She's thrilled because, you know, she wants to be the POW. She wants to be the Princess of Wales. That's, that's her end game. She knows she isn't getting a prize. Neither is George. George is absolutely drunk. George started drinking that brandy from the minute he said, Harris, get me a glass. Of, I'm not well, get me a glass of brandy. He didn't stop for three days. He has to be literally supported by two unmarried dukes as he goes down the aisle. And at one point, he looks like he is literally going to vomit. This is what onlookers at the wedding noted in their diaries. And that could have been the brandy. It could have been Caroline. Caroline is overdressed in silver tissue lace with bows and sparkles all over the place. She's bedazzled. And everybody notes that George looks absolutely sick at the wedding reception. I'm green at the gills. Then again, could have been the brandy. He's been drinking for three days. Then comes the wedding night. (laughs) Oh, what a wedding night. Somehow, George manages to do his duty twice and then passes out in the grate by the fireplace, by the mantelpiece. Outrageous History is produced by Northern Flicker Media.